Recently, Myla and I took a trip down to the Gold Coast to her mum's house, and we woke up one sunrise just to take a few photos out on the beach. It was my first time shooting medium format film, um, and we spent like an hour or so down there. It was a beautiful sunrise and a nice morning, so I will just show you what happened in that morning, and then I'll at the end of the video, I'll take you through what I think about the photos, what I think about the camera, and that'll be like the whole video. So have a look at this. Uh, hello, good morning. Uh, we're here, at, it's like sunrise, I'm really tired, but I just bought a new camera. So it's a Mamiya M645 Super. That means it's like Superman's camera that he used. So that's why I started using it. Um, I've never shot a roll with this before, but I'm just gonna shoot my first roll here at sunrise at the Gold Coast. Things that I don't know about it. I don't know how the depth of field is gonna look at different distances, because I've never shot medium format. I don't really know how to roll, it's low to roll. So let's try now. It's Porsche 400. Oh. Ready to go. Ready to go. Ta -da. Shot number one. Nice. That's it. That's a good shot. Thank you. I don't want to run. I'm going to take a photo of Myla. She's right. <laughs> So medium. Both. <laughs> so medium and formatty. Hopefully we get some formats going. Um, medium ones. Let's go this way. I think it would be wrong of me to not take a photo of the water right now. So, here we, well, whatever, I'll do it. tree in front of it. So I want to make sure that everybody knows that it looks cool. So let's do it. Ugh, the running. I'm waiting for someone cool to walk by the... That old man was hella cool! That was a good scene. I think there was some crazy cool looking bikes in the background there. Um, and I like it when, I mean, taking photos of houses and light and stuff is nice, but I think when you put your friends and people in those photos, it makes it a little bit better um, in terms of, I don't know, it just means a lot more to you. I think that was a really cool photo. I liked watching the bikes roll past the scene. Um, and I like that my shadow's in the front because I just always like to see the photographer's shadow if they thought about it and where they place it. So um, I'm going to take another photo of that house from a closer up angle. So now I've got a little bit of a series going. So how about that? I'm just using Myla as kind of like a a model, I guess, at this point. <laughs> that one was sick. Uh, the house looks really... I don't know. It looks awesome. There's a bird on the top of the roof and there's a man inside his own home. With like a green pipe his shirt on so the sun's really reflecting off it. Hopefully that shows up. I bet it will, but um, 
I'm really excited to see how that one turns out. Let's have a let's walk that way. <laughs> Shit. Look, man, I asked for two cranes, but I only needed one crane, man. But he gave me two cranes, I just need to, I only wanted one crane. It's not working for me at the moment. Oh, yeah. How about that? Does that work for you? Oh, that was funny, right? Well, the light's still nice, but it's more, it's a little bit too harsh, and the beach doesn't look as great as it did this morning. Um, so we're gonna go up back into Myla's mum's house. She has some crazy trinkets, and well, they're not crazy, they're normal, but she has some cool trinkets and her house looks really nice with the sun so I'm going to try and pop off a few shots of that. Okay so the roll's finished. I'm gonna unload the film. I don't know how. Um, so I'm just gonna wing it. Let's do it. Ta I want to thank my mom. I want to thank my dad. I want to thank my mom. I want to thank my mom. I just want to thank the earth, you know? It's just a really beautiful moment. <laughs> Alright, I'm hungry. So, I'm going to put this away. Okay, I hope that was as enjoyable for you as it was for me. Um, that was a really fun morning. Uh, so now I'll just, well, let's talk about the photos. Um, they're pretty fucking cool. I really like the photos. They're okay. There's a few things that I want to talk about. Firstly, medium format scan sizes are way bigger. So zooming into photos and looking at details in photos is much more satisfying, um, which I think suits my shooting style because a lot of the time I'm sitting there looking at everything in the frame and things in the distance and trying to focus on things that are way in the distance. And I think with that extra resolution from medium format, that's going to work really well. So this photo of Milo on the beach is something that I've tried to do before with the 35mm camera, but now with the medium format, uh, it looks way, way better. There's a really nice focus fall off from where Milo is into the background following those tracks along. Um, and in the background, everything kind of looks really big because it's so compressed because of the uh, 80mm lens versus what I usually use, which is the 50mm lens. I want to say that the colors are way more lifelike and there's none of that uh, kind of shittiness that you get with 35mm film where some things are kind of casted or there's random colors just like kind of everywhere. There's also the grain is much tighter and much less visible. I love this one of the guy sitting in his room in the house with the bird on the roof. I just think it's beautiful the way the light looks on the windows and you can't really see that it's a person there but because of the reflection in his work shirt you know that someone's like getting ready for work and getting ready for their day, which I think is really interesting. Problem with it though, there's a shadow along the bottom section of the photo on the grass where I kind of waited for somebody to walk by and then took the photo then, which was a mistake because now in that portion on the bottom of the image, instead of being nice negative space and drawing your eye up into the actual building, there's this kind of just like this texture, this weird shadow that yeah, to me it ruins the image, um, but I still like it, it's nice. Oh, I love this one of the crane with the boy on his skateboard. Uh, I think that's classic Gold Coast. You know, you got construction, you got some beach. You got the line of my footsteps walking up all the way to the kid in the yellow shirt. You got his shadow on the wall, which I love. And then that brings you up onto the yellow crane all the way up and it's kind of like a big circle. Ending the morning with those photos in Myla's mum's house, I think was really nice. I got a great photo of her and her mum that really shows their personalities. And this more quirky shot of just kind of the door and the light coming in through the door and the bookcase with all Myla's mum's trinkets. And then in the reflection of the clock, I put her hand. That just kind of felt like, just kind of quirky and interesting. It didn't really turn out as nice as I thought, but it's still a cool photo. But yeah, so overall using the camera is, it's kind of hard to hold because it's kind of awkward um, and a little bit weird. You have to hold with your left hand and press the shutter with your right hand, but then you have to focus with your left hand and you can't like, 
focus and hold and take the shutter all at the same time. So I'm thinking maybe I'll get a grip for it at some point, but it sounds amazing. It feels really good when you do take the photo. So I'm gonna just keep using it from here on out. But anyway, definitely recommend the Mia 645. It's a beast. Uh, it's medium format. It's cheaper than the RZ67 or RB67, whatever you're thinking about getting. I really, 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 really like it. So for now, I'll have to say goodbye because that's uh, that's it. That's the end of the video. So that's when I say goodbye. Here's Instagram. Here's uh, the end of the video.